Hello and welcome to Color Up. Today I have a new strategy for you. It's part of our Dice Advice series and you'll want to stick around and check this one out. Today's strategy was submitted by Richard Shaver and he calls it the Place Hedge. So thanks for sending this in Richard. So real simply, he starts off with a don't pass bet of $50 and he hedges it by hopping the reds for $9 or $3 each on the sevens. Now he wants to play this on a $5 table. So with, 50, with a $50 don't pass bet, this is 10 units. So after the come out roll and there is a point established, he's going to bet 10 units on the number between the field and covering the numbers or hard way. He's gonna use 10 units, a maximum of 10 units uh, to cover the rest of the numbers. Now, in case a seven comes, if a seven comes, you'll lose these bets, but you'll recoup it on the don't pass. So that's where that place hedge comes in. So the reason I tell this video a bubble craps machine strategy is while it's not overly difficult, you'll find, and I'll show you in a minute here, it can be really difficult to communicate what bets you want to the dealer. So you might wanna avoid that trouble and just use this on a bubble craps machine. If you get a good dealer or you figure out a good way to communicate this, your bets that you want to the, to the dealer, then fine. And this will work on a, on a real table just as well. But the communication, I think, is the barrier or the trouble with this strategy. All right, for the come out roll, $50 don't pass. We're gonna hot bid red for $9 or $3 a piece. So if a seven does roll, we'll lose our don't pass, but, these hot, but the hot bet will pay $45 for one of these winners, one of the combinations. The dealer will pay you 39 and keep six to cover them again. So if a seven does appear, you're gonna be, you're going to be out $11. If an 11 shows, you're going to lose your $50, but he doesn't cover the 11 because he figures it's a wash because with the two or the three, you're going to win $50. And obviously the 12 is just going to be a push. Okay, we've gotten past the come out roll and the points of four. So how do we make our bets if the points of four? With every hand, we're always going to bet a field bet. If there's a hard way bet, we're always going to cover the hard way with a unit. So that's one unit here, one unit here. So we're gonna bet a hard four for that unit. Two units on the five, two units on the six, two on the eight, one on the nine, one on the 10. That's our 10 units. And then you're gonna to have to do an extra $2 so the six and the eight pay properly. So what you want to avoid is what we call string betting. And that's by telling dealer one bet at a time. So you would say $10 on the five and then you hand them, here's $12 for the six. Hand 12, I want $12 on the 8, I want $5 on the 9, $5 on the 10. You don't want to do that. You want to give them one instruction if you can. And for instance, you know, a, a real common bet, I want 22 inside. So they know what that is, they can place it up. And so that's why I said this might, you might want to save this for bubble craps because this is a little more difficult. For instance, this case, you would have to say something like, I want 44 across with two units on the 5, 6, and 8. You could communicate it that way. All right, if the point's a five, you're gonna cover the field again, but there are no hard ways. So let's go on the four with that unit. And these units, we're gonna go ahead and move to the six and the eight. And again, we're gonna to have to add more ones. So we'll have three units on the six and eight for an $18 bet. So one unit, three unit, three unit, one unit, one unit. So to communicate this, it would be something like, um, uh, this is an odd number, but 51 across with three units on the six and the eight. If you guys have a better way to communicate this, let me know down in the comments. All right, if the point's a six, we're going to do two units on the eight and two units on the five, and we are gonna cover one unit on the six. And then that 10th unit is going to be on the hard six. So to communicate this, it would be something like, uh, I want 43 across, with, well, 43 across, including the point, and then two units on the five and the eight. Another way you could do this is maybe, I want 37 across, and then make your own place bet back here on the six. So 37 across with two units on the five and the eight, and then you're gonna place the six yourself. Now, I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this before in a video, but anytime there's a point, you can always place it yourself here on the line, on this back line, not in the box, that's a pass line bet, and you, you really can't do that after the point, it's called a put bet, and not back behind here where your odds go, but right on that line that divides it, and then they know, the dealers know that's a place bet. 
you can always just hand it to him and, and ask him to place it and he can place the point. That's not a problem. Or you could just put it back here and place it yourself. But you can only do that. You can't do that with any other numbers unless it's the point. So if the point's nine, you could bet it there instead of here. You could just bet it back there. So a little known thing about craps. Okay, the eight, if the point's an eight, it's gonna be real similar. We're just gonna have one unit on the point, two units on the five and six, and then our hard way bet's gonna go on the eight. So it's real similar to the six. Again, it's 43 across, in including the point with two units on the five and six. So you can see where this starts to get, you know, a little complicated trying to communicate to this dealer. Of course, any good dealer, you know, after, your, you know, some repetitions, they know how you're doing this, they can follow along pretty easily. All right, if the point's a nine, we're going to bet two units on the five, six, and eight, and there is no hard way. So at this point, you're, not, you're only betting you know, nine units instead of 10 units. And the reason he likes to try to keep at least two units on the five, six, and eight is because five, six, and eight are the numbers that aren't in the field. So you know, depending on the point, sometimes you see these at two units or three units, and that's because they're not in the field. So to compensate for that, when you lose that field bet, you get paid more with these numbers. All right, the points of 10, just like the four, you're gonna do two units on the five, six, and the eight, single units on the other numbers, and then you're gonna cover that hard 10, in this case, with one unit. And again, like all these bets, you're gonna have one unit in the field. So a seven does roll, you're gonna lose all these bets, but you're gonna win here, so that prevents a wash. So what you wanna do is hit at least a couple hits to cover your initial hot bets that you may have lost establishing your point. So you know you wanna cover that nine or $18 or whatever it's gonna cost you to get your point. And then you know the few spare change that it's gonna take, we're not really counting the caps as units, but you, know, you will lose a couple bucks here and there on these units. So you wanna make sure you're winning um, to recoup those hot bets and after that, you know, after you can get past the break-even point, then it's all good after that. You just want to be hitting points, collecting as much money as you can, and then, you know, when that seven does eventually roll, um, it's okay, you're going to lose these bets, but it's going to be covered here on the Stone Pass. All right, I have a $500 bankroll. This is a $5 table, so we're going to bet $50 on the Don't Pass. Now I should mention, he did say once he gets a bankroll or winnings of $1,500, he'll stop hopping the reds on the come out roll and he'll martingale these don't pass bets um, until he wins. But again, that's after $1,500 of profit. This video is not gonna be able to get, you know, won't last long enough to get to that point so we don't have to worry about that. But I did wanna mention that that was something that he mentioned as part of the strategy. So to give the dealer $10, say hop, hop all the reds, uh, you get a dollar and change. And we got the shooter coming out. You can shoot if you're betting the don't pass. You do have to have a bet on either the pass or the don't, but as long as you have one of them, you are allowed to shoot the dice. All right. Here we go, new shooter coming out. Okay, 12. So that's no good. So it's a push on our don't pass, but we are gonna lose our hop. Of course, you can just toss the dealer $10 and tell them you wanna stay up on the hop before they take it down if you're quick enough. So we'll stay up, we'll return that dollar to you. And here we go, same shooter coming out. Okay, seven. So we're gonna lose our don't pass. Now one of these combinations is gonna pay $45, but they're gonna keep $6 to keep you up. So they're gonna, you're gonna, they're gonna pay you $39. 25, 35, $39. And then you gotta cover your don't pass again. So you're out another $11 there. All right, we're not off to a great shot, great start, but here we go. Same shooter coming out. All right, four, point's gonna be four. Another loss for the hot bets. Point's gonna be four. So we're gonna cover the field. We're gonna to toss Stickman a unit to cover the hard four. 
going to give the dealer 44 tell them 44 across with two units on the five six and the eight so two units two units two one one and then our two dollar caps all right with the field bet we got every single number number covered and uh here we go Let's see what happens Okay, it's gonna be five. Loss on the field, this $10 bet is going to pay 14. And we wanna get back down in the field. And we got an eight. Another field loser, but this 12 is also gonna pay 14. You wanna get back down in the field, so you're just netting you're just netting $9. Okay, and we got the four. So we hit our point. We're gonna lose our don't pass bet. We're gonna lose our hard four. We're gonna win here in the field. And the puck's gonna come off. And these we can set aside. And the, it's the same shooter coming out, but he's gotta get down on his don't pass again. So again, um, Nine dollars. We'll just pull out of here. Nine dollars. Let's hop big red. Set you up. Place bets are off for the come out roll. Here we go. Okay, it's going to be ten. So we're going to lose our hop again. Puck's going to be ten. We don't need to cover this here, so we'll move this to the four. And what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So we have nine units and 10 units. Cover that hard 10. All right, here we go. Okay, it's gonna be 10. That's not good. So with the strategy, he's trying to move the bad number from seven to a different number. But in this case, we're hitting it, you know, even though there's only a couple chances to roll these, unfortunately, we're doing it. So we lose our don't pass. We lost our hard 10. Field gets paid here. Buck's gonna come off. And here we go. So let's get our $50 don't pass. Let's get 10 to the dealer to cover our hop. Place bets are off and new same shooter, same shooter coming out. Okay, it's gonna be nine. Point's gonna be nine. We don't need a, this here, so we'll move this to the 10. We'll lose our hop here. There is no hard way, but we are gonna get the field covered. And yeah, on the nine, you really only have nine units. So two, 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 everything else is one unit. All right, here we go. And wow, okay, any other strategy, we'd be doing great because we're hitting points. In this one, we're getting killed here. So again, the don't pass loses. Get paid in the field, puck comes off. And, yep. All right. So our $50 don't pass, $10 or $9 to hop the red, big reds. I'm just gonna leave this up here instead of doing the ones and kind of all that transaction. I return the dollar change. Well, whatever, I need to do have $9 up here. All right. All right, still the same shooter, but he's coming out again. Okay, it's, the point's gonna be eight. Lose our hop, I'll just keep, I'll keep this $9 over here so I know that's our, that's our hop money. All right, so point's gonna be eight. We can move this one unit to the nine and we're gonna do two units on the six, two on the five, one unit covering the hard eight. 
We can return that and then we'll do one unit in the field. Oh yeah, we're going to cover the, the point. Again, you can cover it down here if you want, or if you can communicate it to the dealer, you can place the point. So if the point's six or eight, it's not gonna hurt so bad because we are placing it and we're covered, covering it with a hard way. So if we do hit it, it's not gonna hurt as bad as say we hit one of these outside numbers. All right, shooter, let's go. And seven. My dice rolled there, but it's seven, seven out. So in that case, you're gonna lose everything here. But you're gonna get paid for your don't pass, which as you can see, you just lose $3. All right, pucks off. We got a new shooter. We're going to get, oh, look at that, Yahtzee, huh? All right, um, we're gonna get a, maybe our luck's gonna change here. We're gonna cover our hop. So get your dollar return to you. And we've got $9 covering the big red. It's pretty funny, what are the chances of that, right? All right, new shooter, new luck, here we go, coming out. Okay, it's gonna be six, six hard. We're gonna cover our field. We're gonna tell the stick man we want our hard six. We're gonna do two units on the five and eight. One unit on the rest here. And then of course we need our cap for the eight and one unit to place the point of six. And we're all set up and ready to go. Here we go. And it's gonna be a six. I forgot earlier. We lost our hot bet. So here we're gonna lose our don't. We're gonna lose our field. We rolled it the easy way, so we lose our hard six. And not much of a consolation, but our six dollars is gonna pay seven. And yeah. All right. I'm gonna come out again. There's $50 on the don't, $10 to cover our hops. There's this change. So we got the hops covered. Place bets are off and the same shooter coming out. Okay, it's gonna be eight, point's gonna be eight. So we'll just move this Two units to the six, we got one unit on the eight, two units on the five, get in the field, and one more unit to cover the hard eight. All right, shooter, here we go. Up against the wall there, but it is a nine. This field bet is gonna win here. This nine is gonna pay seven. So we'll just rack that up. We're ready to see another number. Okay, there's the eight. What a disastrous day to be playing a don't pass strategy. Okay, so we're gonna lose our don't. We're gonna lose the field. We're gonna lose our heart eight. Um, the six die is gonna be seven. Again, a little consolation. But the shooters are hitting their point. There's nothing much you could do about that when you're playing the don'ts. All right, let's see if I have enough for one more try at this. And it's not that it's a bad strategy. It's just uh, the dice are just not cooperating. And that happens sometimes, all right? $50 don't. We'll cover, well, these hops. Yeah, we'll cover these hops. Forgot to take it down again. Get the dollar change. Our hops are covered. We're set up. It's going to be a new shooter. And new shooter coming out. Okay, it's going to be four, four hard. So we lose our hop. Points four. We don't need this here, so we'll move this over to our hard four. Two, 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 one, one, and let's get the field covered. And yep, yeah, we're all set up now. Here we go. 
and a quick 0.7 out. So we're going to lose everything here. Oh, we went our fifth. What are we short here? 10, 20, 30, 45. I'm not sure where we're 50. I'm not sure what happened there, but anyway, uh, $50 is going to win 50, one to one for that don't pass. Out $3. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just stop there. Um, again, it's not a bad strategy. It's the dice. I was just rolling points and you're hoping to move the seven, the bad seven to a less likely number. We did that a couple times. We moved it to the four and the 10, but we still hit it. So we just managed to hit a lot of points when we're playing the don't pass here. So the dice didn't go in Richard's favor. Again, I appreciate you submitting the strategy, Richard Shaver. As everyone knows, I roll these strategies one time. It is what it is. Doesn't mean it's bad, doesn't mean it's good. It just, that's how the dice rolled today and that's how it turned out. So, and again, there's a little complication with how you communicate the bet. So, so maybe use this on online or the bubble crafts machine. But um, anyway, leave your comments down below. Tell me, you know, what you do like about this. There's no reason to trash these strategies, but tell us what you do like down in the comments, um, how you think you could improve on it. And again, the best way to improve on it is, you know, just the dice cooperating. So until next time, a new video, new strategy, some more dice advice coming up. Um, hope to see you at the table someday. Until then, good luck on coloring up.